Kristen with Create Kids Couture and today I'm going to teach you how to gather using your serger just by changing the settings on it. So first of all I left my serger at the settings that I normally start at so that I can show you what I'm doing. Um, to make it easy to see I put white thread for my two needle threads and then two different pink ones for the loopers. Now on my settings here I turn up my first one my first tension to about a nine and the next to a seven and then I leave my two loopers the same. Now on my side settings um, I keep I keep these two where they normally are but here um, I normally have this at one but I switched it up to two and what that means is that the fabric feeds through twice as fast between the bottom and the top so that will kind of gather it automatically for us. So, and I do have my stitch finger in, that's for the Brother 1034D, um, the one that I'm showing you with today. Now, the important thing to know about gathering with your serger is that normally when we gather, we'll, sh we'll sew the gathering stitch with our sewing machine, and then um, kind of gather the fabric in by hand and bunch it up. But with the serger, it works in the opposite direction. We're going to over-gather and it'll make it a really tight gather and then we're actually going to loosen it to where we need it to be. So I'll go ahead and show you how that's done. Okay, I have my fabric in place and back here the first thing we want to do is give ourselves kind of a nice little tail to work with so that as we do loosen our gathers we won't run out of the tail. Now we just go ahead and sew. Now I'm doing this without my knife on, so as I line up the fabric, I just line it up right there with where the knife would be cutting it, but we don't need to cut it. So I'm just going to start going and we'll see how I have this long fabric that's going to be gathered right up tight. Now you can see that it's bunching up right there as we go. get to the end you'll just go right off the end or if you're doing a loop um, you'll just want to make sure you have some loose threads there so again we want to come off make sure you have some end string to work with and then go ahead and cut that off back here okay now you can see how it gathered it right in I haven't done anything with my hands I just pulled it off I had to do, use two hands with my camera so I just pulled it off and here it is gathered. It's gathered up to at least twice as much as what it needs to be. A little bit more, um, I think, because my fabric's kind of lightweight. Now, again, um, this would be where I pin it to the bodice or whatever I'm attaching it to. If it's a little too tight, it's really easy to loosen. So you just kind of pull those gathers out. It's kind of the opposite of when we're gathering. Now, if you find that you pull it out too much, you can always gather it back in. And that's why I used my different color threads here. If you can see, I used my pink threads as the, the loopers, the ones that go back and forth, and I used white threads as my needle threads, the ones that go up and down. And what we can do here is if we loosen this more than we want it loosened like that, we can actually pull out our white threads, loosen it up, and pull on those. And I'll grab that real quick. Okay, so I can just pull that thread right out of there. See, I pulled it out and I can get both if I want to or you can actually make it work with just one. I'll just use these two white threads to gather it back in again. So you can bunch it back up just like you do normally gathering. So, again, the main thing with gathering with the serger is that it over gathers it the first time. So you just loosen it to where you need it and if you accidentally go too far you can grab those two sideways running threads and tighten it back up again. And this saves a lot of time. It's definitely worth switching um, just a couple settings. And I'll show you those again. I like to put it on about 9, 7, 4, and 4. But really the most important part is adjusting this back here so that the feed dogs are helping you gather. So I hope you find that helpful. Bye. Hi, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.